So if you're working on recording your screen or you're looking for a solution for that, regardless of what type of computer on, Mac, PC, Chromebook, Screencastify is a really easy to use option. So you're gonna to go to screencastify.com and then click on this add to Chrome button. It is a Chrome extension, so it does require that you're in Chrome. From there, it's gonna add up a new tab where you can go and click on add to Chrome again. From there, it's gonna ask if you wanna add the extension to your browser and you're gonna hit add extension. Once it's there, it's gonna go through and it's gonna to check to make sure it's installed. And now it's on the top right hand side. If you have other extensions installed, they'll also show up there, uh, but just the one that you wanna do. Once you're ready to go there, you're gonna click on it. It will pop up and it'll be able to go through and have everything sign in. So we're gonna go through with Google here. I wanna make sure that you save things to Google Drive and then you need to sign in with Google. When you click on that, you're gonna get a new tab and then you'll get another tab here in just a second once we decide what we wanna do. Uh, we're first gonna allow us to go through and add camera and microphone access along with drawing tools. We'll hit next, and then we have to set our permissions. If you've already signed in with this before, uh, or if you only have one account, you only have to hit sign in. If you have multiple accounts that you're signed into with Chrome, you'll have to decide which one you wanna do that with. So I'm gonna hit allow uh, to go through, and now I've installed it. And you'll see up in the browser also say installed. At this point, I'm ready to go. I can go up here, to my options, and now I have a whole new area that I can do. You can see the microphones going, so I can select which microphone I wanna use. I, I happen to have a number of microphones connected to my computer. I can also enable a webcam if I'd like. I'm gonna leave that off for right now. Uh, I can record just a particular browser tab, the entire desktop, or only the webcam. I can also view my recordings, uh, see any notifications, and manage a couple settings. And down here, I can also click on that, and I have a couple of additional settings if I'd like. So for this one, I'm gonna record the internal microphone in my computer, uh, which is set up, and then I can hit record, and I'm gonna record my desktop. Uh, it's gonna give you a little pop-up if you wanna do the entire screen or a particular application. Uh, I'm gonna choose the entire screen and then hit share. Now it's gonna do a little countdown because that's what I hit. It's doing the countdown, and now I'm recording live into this. If you look at the bottom left-hand side, I have a pause button, a mouse, I can write, directly on it so I can either highlight clicks, not hide clicks, or focus on certain things. So if, hey, I really wanna make sure you notice that, I can do it there. Uh, with this, I can also draw directly on the screen, uh, and then I can also erase that if I need to. Uh, I can also exit out of that entirely if I want to, and whenever I'm done my recording, I'll hit stop sharing. At this point, it's gonna go through and it's gonna process and it's gonna load up a new tab for me. Uh, so it's showing me exactly what I have around here. Uh, so I have the professional version, which I will, or should I say the premium version, which I'll put a coupon code in that you can get, get it for free until April 30th because of what's been going on in the world. Uh, but you can notice here that you can share it directly to your Google Classroom, publish it right out to the web, get an embed code. There's a couple more options here like emails or QR codes. Uh, you can also download it, export it as an MP4, export only the audio, or make a GIF. So there's a lot of options right in there right away, which is really, really good, really, really powerful. Uh, you can also make a, co a shareable link from your Google Drive. Uh, if I go back here and click on this and go to my recordings, it's gonna take my recordings and I can see exactly what I've done. And if I go into my drive, when I scroll through here, you'll see that there's a Screencastify menu. And when I go in there, I can see my recordings. You'll notice that it's a WebM. So if your software or your uh, learning management system does not support that, you wanna go back and make sure you download the MP4 and it'll work just fine. Uh, but that's really a quick, easy way to go through and do this. You see they don't take up a whole lot of space and it's a really high quality recording they can use with your students. Hopefully that helps.